Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is a general love reading for the rest of May. Some message, oh, and also maybe a little into June. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, let's get into this and see what your messages are. Um, you guys, it's going to be a, another bit of a short reading tonight. I, my apologies. I haven't been keeping up with the one hour. It's been such a busy month. And um, yeah, we'll be back soon. The summer's coming and things will be much more relaxed. <clears throat> okay. All right, Virgo. Um, personal reading link is also in the description box below. And if you are unable to book with me, you can always book with Brandy. All right, you guys. So we've got the sword and the rose. Let's see. Oh, jumper. You've got ascending and you have karmic relationship. Okay, Virgo. So what's going on here? Um, you're definitely getting some clarity. Okay. A revelation. Um, and you've got protection and power. Okay. You also have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning from something. There's a new phase coming in, coming into union or preparing for union during this time period and also karmic relationship. Hmm. Resentment, lessons learned, letting go and loving yourself. So yeah, Virgo it just kind of feels like um, you're getting some clarity and ascending from a karmic relationship, Virgo. Moving on. All right, let's take a look and see. I'm going to do another Celtic cross and see what the messages are. Past position, the Emperor. The Emperor has not been here in quite some time. Um, past position, Aries, possibly. Um, okay, you might have been connecting with someone who was maybe a, a boss. Let me take a look here. You get a little more clarity. I definitely feel like they're... Um, okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, this is like, okay, this is clear. All right, Virgo, the Emperor, some of you, somebody you were connecting with was cheating, lying, stealing, okay? Could have been an Aries, doesn't have to be. Um, just someone maybe could have been close to your age or someone older than you. Um, you know, the Emperor does represent someone who sits in a position of power and authority, but is doing some sneaky behavior. And usually the Emperor is not like that. But, um, I don't know, sometimes people fall from grace, don't they? So this is kind of like someone who might have been stealing or cheating or lying whether in a personal relationship on the job from the home from family got into some trouble um not a good situation with this seven of swords theft betrayal dishonesty or someone who was running away okay or ran away so let's take a look at the current energy here virgo oh okay right out of the gate you've got the ace of wands so wow virgo so you're, you're there's new inspiration there's new growth new beginning happening for you currently okay seeds have been planted planted um in may for sure and virgo this is very positive because i feel like if you haven't noticed maybe stop for a moment smell the roses take a look around you have an energy of um you're gonna start seeing a little bit of growth okay and i feel like Hmm. Maybe you have noticed <clears throat> whatever you've whatever you've been working on or doing behind the scenes, whatever you've been doing, um, you're going to notice that, you know, it's not full growth, but these the seeds that you've planted or the things that you have started are, <clears throat> excuse me, beginning to um, show signs of life. OK, and that's a very positive thing that can represent new projects, new passion projects, feeling inspired or having the urge to create. And it's also a message that whatever you begin to plant now, you will see growth from that. OK, so I feel like that strong message here is to start planting some new seeds. OK, start planting some new seeds in your life if you haven't already begun and you have to be patient. You have to be patient. Things take time. Anything worth having, anything that involves growth is going to take time. Okay. So let's see. What is your challenge? And um, we're looking at the time period from, as I'm doing this reading, is the middle of May to the middle of June. Okay. Wow. Okay. Having love. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
So it sits in the challenge or benefit, but I really feel like it's more of a benefit. Um, and I feel like for you, maybe you left someone or you ended a relationship and there's like a whole, a whole new world. A brand new, do, 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 do. I don't know the words, right? It's a Disney song, I can't remember. But yeah, you've got, um, there's definitely love coming, Virgo. And, you know, I, I feel like this is going to be the result of your growth, okay? Um, this will be the, 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 the fruits of your labor, okay? I, I just feel like to tell you, Virgo, I don't know why I feel like I need to tell you this, but don't give up. Be patient because if you're putting seeds in, like planting roses or you're, 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 why can't I talk? <laughs> Whatever you are trying to do here, I feel like you're starting over. Okay. And what you're doing here is loving yourself, stopping, taking the time to smell the roses. The, the, the growth that you will see is love okay and i do feel like that will come for you and i i definitely feel like it's gonna possibly come sometime between now and june okay let me see what's driving you right now Ooh, virgo on you are on a journey exploration self journey emotional journey going after your ninth cup so you're in this journey what's driving you to seek those wishes to come true um, material abundance, maybe good health. Okay, you are this. This is moving on, Virgo. You, what's driving you at this time period is you're moving on. You're abandoning something, or you were abandoned. Whatever the situation is, you are on a, a path of spiritual enlightenment. You are on taking this journey, maybe traveling. You're out hiking. You're moving. You're doing things. I, I feel like you're you're definitely. You know, you've had your eight cups. Okay, and what did your eight cups represent that you're walking away from? Um, abandonment of some sort and or someone or a relationship that just fell back, that, that something that didn't work or someone moved on, you know, or withdrew from the relationship and you're mirroring that. And you're like, okay, well, you know, if someone's going to abandon me or just withdraw or retreat or, you know, uh, do whatever they got to do, I'm going to do the same. Okay. And Virgo, I like your mindset. I like it because it's like, you know what, let me go out into my garden and start planting some new seeds here in my life. Right. Okay. I like it, Virgo. I like where you're at. And of course, the sun is up above. And I just love how this reading is coming out. You know, this is like um, crowning you here is the sun positivity, the sun on whatever you're planting here and whatever growth you're trying to have. This is Virgo. I feel like you've walked away from something or you made the decision not to go back to something and walked away from maybe some kind of a karmic relationship. You're ascending, getting this clarity. And I mean, everything is coming together to meet you where you are, to help you on your way. This is what I feel like is happening. And right now you might have a couple of little saplings hanging off your tree. You know, um, you're seeking that physical pleasure in your life. You know, you have a little bit of growth that you're seeing, but just know like it takes time. You know, you plant your garden um, your, or your the bulbs start sprouting. And then, you know, by the end of the summer, it's like, wow, you've got a safari. You know, everything just fills in beautifully here for you. I love this. I love the way this reading is going so far. But that karmic relationship or whatever it was that you were in, in the past, I don't know if you finally like made the decision to walk away from it or you are walking away from it, um, walking away from those triggers, the turmoil, um, getting rid of the resentment. You've learned some lessons, letting go and loving yourself. I love it. Even with this ascension here, Virgo, transcending your, uh, the obstacles learning expansion like i said a new phase and preparing for union yes virgo yes it's time for that real good healthy loving relationship with self with god with spirit and with the with a lover who is perfect for you maybe not perfect but perfect for you could be leo for some of you could be connecting with a leo uh coming up let's see what's coming toward you okay hmm there's a surprise coming towards you let's see 
Um, for some of you, this, um, hmm, there's definitely love coming in. Look at the Ace of Cups right here. There is definitely love trying to come in. Virgo, I kind of feel like you're like, okay, you know, taking the cup and just storing all the cups, right? You're, I feel like you're not quite ready. It might be too soon. This is kind of like, um, you know, you're not ripe just yet. Your, your, <laughs> your, your roses, it's not time to prune them. Um, your tomatoes it's not time to pick them you know um everything is still in the process you're still in the process of growing and of course while this is happening love offers or a love offer is coming in many times or love offers are coming in many times you know i, I feel like you're walking into love virgo i really do oh my gosh I feel like a house of Virgo should be a house of love for you. It, it, you're going to be getting offers, and I kind of feel like you're you're not going to, like, no, nah, not yet, not yet. But you might say to, I don't know, if you're out dating, or maybe you're not, you might just be, who knows, maybe you're picking out oranges at the grocery store and produce, I don't know. But love is just, it keeps knocking on your door. And it's kind of a test uh, t for you to kind of look at yourself and say, you know, do I, am I ready for something yet? I don't know. You might somebody might be kind of pressuring you or just cons like being consistent and keep asking you out and you might just be like you know this is not a good time can I get a rain check that kind of thing um uh, saying that to one person or having many offers coming in now let's see if there's anyone specific who could be reaching out to you okay well whoever this person is they're a damn fool <laughs> could be an Aquarius but um let me see here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. One more card, please. Oh. Oh, my goodness. This is someone who's got... I mean, like, I can just tell you right now. This person has their eye on you coming in to take a risk. Um, hmm. I don't know, Virgo. Now they're telling me, be careful. That might be, you might pick something up or sense something. Some of you are like, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm picking up or I'm sensing someone. This is another karmic. I'm going to go from the, the frying pan into the fire. No, no. I've already started my growth process here. Virgo, I, I feel like... Um, Somebody could be coming in here to break your heart. Now, who could that be? I don't know. Or there could be someone who's cheating. I don't like that the Page of Swords with the Three of Swords is there. Um, because this feels like a very restless, uh, risky type of energy uh, coming towards you. They're not really being specific about who it is. But, I don't know, Virgo. This feels like, you see how this, let me just show you. You see how this person has... Um, their arms folded yeah it's kind of like protecting themselves a little bit so I do kind of feel like um, your love's gonna come in yeah now does this mean this is actually somebody coming in to break your heart I mean I I really feel like I, I, I overall do feel maybe most of the messages that someone's coming in and wants to take a risk with you but you're you might have already been with someone who was controlling and nasty and maybe spied on you or was a stalker and careless with your heart and I, I kind of feel like it might be a little too soon you because you might still have some residual even though you're healing you might be kind of looking at new people and and trying to vet them out like are you another one of these karmic people because you know I, I, don't, I don't feel like you're fully healed I, like I said in the beginning you're on you're definitely on a good journey and like I always say heal before you deal and you're smart Virgo and I know that you, you you're able to kind of look at yourself and say oh you know you're being tempted and definitely being tempted and I feel like you're being tempted by love offers and I feel like you're being tested to see because whatever you came from was pretty nasty. So whatever you're being tempted with, it's, it's a test for you to resist it. And can you resist it? Because look, Virgo, you're already on this good path and you're already having this growth. You know, could this be someone from your past kind of like swinging back around? Of course it could be trying to come in and, you know, 
oh, I want to take a risk. Uh, you know, I've been watching and seeing all this growth that you've been having and you, you're doing really well and my heart's broken and I really want to try. You know, it, 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 but that's all about them, isn't it? That, that right there, all those things I just said, sounds like it's all about them, not so much about you, you know? And somebody really loves you and you're healing, you know, I think the only, they're not going to want anything from you because they're going to understand you're on a growth process. You're, you're, you're in recovery. You know, you get out of surgery and you're laying in bed for like, the doctor's like, two weeks, you can't go anywhere. Everybody's got to cater to you. And you've got somebody coming in and they're like bringing you a cup of soup and then asking you to give them a back rub and wash their, la their laundry. And it's like, oh, okay. So that's kind of like, no, that's like a no. I mean, you, I'm, I'm the one who's in recovery here. You need to be giving me some space and at least trying to offer assistance in sincerity to try to maybe help me not expect things from me. Okay, so I don't know where this is coming from, but it, it's a test. Okay, it's a test. All right, let me see what your, your advice is here for you. Sometimes these readings, like, they floor me sometimes. The stuff that comes out really seriously floors me. Okay. Your advice here, Virgo, is the high priestess. This is to stay in your quiet season, Virgo. You're in a quiet season. Commit to your quiet season. Okay? Keep things to yourself right now. Trust your gut and your intuition during this time period. Okay? Trust yourself, Virgo. This is what the high priestess is about. She's all knowing. Okay, trust your gut, trust yourself. If you're in this process of like, you know, I don't know if you're in hermit mode or whatever, but you are really just trying to recover from some karmic stuff, whether that was recently or you're still on that journey of having that growth, stay in your quiet season. Here, it's okay, you can. You don't know anybody, anything. You don't have to do anything for anybody. You have to do self-care. Let me see if I can get another card here for you. Self-care. You go into the bathroom, light those candles, fill up that bubble bath. You're not trying to have anybody, anybody in there with you. That's your quiet time. Honor this. Okay, yeah, look, honor yourself. <laughs> whatever it is, stay focused on your goals, Virgo, and whatever you're trying to achieve right now. Relationships can be complex, and, and you know, if you're coming out of a karmic relationship or something that was kind of tough, you got to like reorient yourself to yourself in your life, right? You got to get back into the swing of who you are and starting over again. And sometimes people, you know, sometimes it's not God testing you, it's the devil. And sometimes that devil's going to come in and say, oh, okay, okay. So you think you're you think you're going to get away from this karmic person that I was intermingling you with? You think you're going to okay? Well, I'm going to bring in this little test and see how strong you are, and let's see how much you recover. You know that is a that is a very um, unhealthy energy that could come in, and uh, I'm not saying that it will, but I'm saying that for you, you're going to know if you're ready, because if your first thought is. You're going right after the red flags immediately and already making assumptions that someone is like the person that was a liar and a cheater and a thief and who betrayed you, then you're not ready because you're not going to be able to have an overall objective view of, the, of a new person that you meet because you still have these tapes playing in your head from that karmic person that you were connected with, okay? Whether that's a lover or, you know, a, a family member or a friend or someone that, you know, or it was a really long time in a relationship that you were in or a marriage of some sort, it takes a while to recover from that. So, you know, be good to yourself. The high priestess is always the nurse. Maybe you're a male nurse or... Um, a female nurse but the high priestess to me always reminds me of like a nurse you know she she she's she takes care of others she also takes care of herself okay because um, if mommy ain't happy ain't nobody happy so maybe you'll have a male nurse helping you out or someone close to you who you know a brother or sister or someone close to you is trying to give you some assistance in your quiet time um yeah this kind of this is like nurse yourself back to health um you just cannot take any more hits. You got some wounds that are not fully healed here. And, you know, another relationship that you may not be ready for will be another rebound and just another mark on your trauma stick. And Virgo, you're trying to like have some positive growth here on your stick. So <laughs> I said stick. I'm like a five-year-old. <laughs> so, okay, that's your advice here. All right, don't rush, don't rush into anything. Just, you know, anybody who's really interested and... um 
see something special in you, they'll honor and respect that, and they'll say that's fine. Okay, 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 okay. This is okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even. The message they just gave me. The hangman always reminds me of like Jesus on the cross. It does. And then you've got the devil. You've got an angel and a devil on your shoulder. You're being tempted. Yes. Okay, so that just confirmed it. That, like, legit, that just confirmed it for me. Okay? That, the, the, you know, there's a, there's a devil coming in who's pretending they're like an angel. There's, you know, uh, the, the devil, the thing about it is, I always say, you know, um, the devil is never this big, ugly boogeyman. Never. The devil is usually extremely attractive, sometimes comes in very kind and spiritual, um, sometimes can pretend. You know, the devil always comes in, shows up as a mask. I don't know if you watched that show. I think it's called You or something. The devil always comes in as, as, as masked and sometimes very, very glorious and tremendously attractive, you know. And I don't know. I feel like this is some type of temptation. <clears throat> This is like Jesus out in the desert being tempted by Satan three different times. I don't know if you know that story, but yeah, um, yeah whether you're a Christian or not, it doesn't matter. The, the point I'm trying to make here is that you've got some, so you've got an energy. I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's a person, but you've got an energy that is going to try to derail you from your growth, and you need to be have your wits about you. You need to pay attention. Virgo, you cannot afford to relapse in anything, whether that's the uh, karmic relationship or getting going from the frying pan in the fire and another relationship is exactly the same. You can be alone, you know, but not lonely, but you can be on your own and cultivating positive relationships with people who are good for you. You don't have to... Um, get into another relationship or jump into something careless where you're going to want be always wondering, you know, or, or carelessly jump into something without looking where you're leaping and, and um, always wondering if this person is going to like sitting on the edge of your seat, if you're going to get your heart broken again, or, you know, if you're, if you're going to, if somebody's going to be cheating and, and stuff like that, you know, if this, I know this isn't for everyone, but if this was your scenario, you got to take that pause time to recover. I mean, it's just the law of the land, you know, it's like after after, you know, you get a boo-boo, you got to get it like a little band-aid, you got to nurse that wound and take some time to let that heal, Virgo, let it heal, take that time to let, love will come in, okay, love is going to come in, and it's always going to happen when you are trying to manifest good growth in your life, okay, but you have to be the one, like you are the gardener of your soul, and you have to be the one to tend to that garden that's in your soul and your heart, and check on it, and care for it, and you have to be the one to say, you know what, I am working on having this growth right now, this is the most important, I'm trying to heal, and if, if I give in to any kind of temptation, any kind of test, I'm going to fail, and then I'm going to have to start all over again. Virgo, you could get into a rebound. Another thing could come in here. And then what well, are you going to lose? How many more years of your life? You know, take the time now, choose your pain. You can go through this whole thing again. And then it breaks, it ends with somebody else. And then you deal with the pain later, or you could deal with the pain of the growth now and come to the end of it. And then you'll be free. Okay. Then you'll be free to really, because you'll be strong. All right, so you're seeking clarity. You're hoping for clarity. That's what you want. You want truth and victory over your obstacles, right? This is what I see you hoping to be able to accomplish. Victory over your obstacles, whatever your obstacles are in your life. Maybe you're recovering from an addiction of some sort, you know? Maybe this whole thing is about you. And in the past, you know, you, you were... A functioning addict of some sort but it's just something you got caught or something tore you down and you're in some kind of recovery and you're on some kind of positive new journey you know if, if that's your story Virgo you know don't quit temptation is always going to come always so remove the obstacles remove the situations that you don't need to be in that'll make it easier for yourself Stay, you know if you're listen if you're trying to have growth and you're on a dating app trust me that devil energy is going to come in like a pretty little puppy and you know i think i talked about that before where someone was going to come in and try to give you like you know you know oh i got the i got you this puppy 
you know, and it's like, you don't want to resist the puppy is too cute. You it's so cute. And you, you know, but it's the person who's bringing it to you. And it's like, no, go away. But the puppy, you know, or somebody comes in and they kind of use their kids as a reason somebody plays on your heartstrings. Virgo, be careful. This is real talk. Be careful because this stuff happens out there in the world. We're not all rainbows and, and Skittles here. This is, you know, you're not in fifth grade anymore, Virgo. Pay attention. All right, what's the outcome here for Virgo? Okay, Virgo, justice. Yes. Yes, everything's going to work out here for you, okay? I don't know if you're seeking some kind of karma from your karmic, <laughs> but the good karma that you've put out there, you're going to receive it, you definitely, Okay, everything is going to work out in your favor if you resist this devil hangman energy. Okay, this devil comes in here and is going to do the old, hey, baby, I want to be with you. And then they're going to make you wait and not really do anything. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're all about progression here. We're all about reflection and progression. We're not about looking in that rearview mirror and going back to a karmic. No. It's done. And when I say karmic, I know some of you are like, well, I don't really know what that is. You know what? Karmic is just someone who's a freaking liar. Someone who lies. And I don't give a rat's ass what the reason is for everybody. Look, listen, do I look fat in this dress? And people say, no, you look great. I appreciate the lie. Thank you. Because otherwise, if you told me the truth, you're just basically an asshole. But this is, I'm talking about deep betrayal, someone going behind your back, lying, because it, what they're insecure they're they can't stand up you were dealing with someone who was just v fearful they were fear-based they weren't love-based all right there's there's a saying you know you have two options you can go forth from a place of love or you can go forth from a place of fear right so you get to choose but there's no other option it's one or the other you get to choose so i really feel like everything will turn around come forward in your favor if you resist this temptation and keep having this growth and that love that you are trying to have in your life you know um for some of you uh the, the challenges there's a prince charming or a princess charming who will tempt you be wary of those types okay because that's that knight of cups that's the emotional charmer charmer and they play on the heartstrings okay so be careful of people like that um all right, let me just see what your messages of love. It's already at 30 minutes, you guys. And I'm just going to do messages of love. And then I'm going to get into, um, yeah, I'll do your charms. I can't pick up my cards. <laughs> what else is new? Oh, that's too many. Okay. Virgo, let have Virgo have a message of love here. Okay. Oh, addiction. There you go. An addiction is affecting this relationship. So that's either within you or that's within another person. Um, there could be a love addiction, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, whatever. It's taking it's taking precedence. You know, um, some of you are fighting, you know, recovering from addiction of some sort. Maybe there's a temptation to want to go back to this person because they lie and might try to come in with that little puppy dog thing. Um, they set you up to keep you addicted to them. Virgo. And I'm not specifically saying someone's going to come in with a puppy dog. It's really just an example of someone that will play on your heartstrings, okay? And that temptation. Some of you, look, some of you are just trying to stay away from that damn chocolate cake. And I get it. I get it. And that, you know what? Virgo, I want to tell you something. If you can stay strong and let the powers that be uh, infuse you with positive energy and to be the best version of yourself that you can be going forward... I commend you 100%. Come over to my house and I will give you an award. Okay, I will give you that graduating diploma. Um, and for some of you, you might, it's a hard thing to deal with. I get it. And keep just keep coming back. Just keep trying. If you fall off the horse, Virgo, somebody comes in and tempts you and you're like, well, uh, you know, maybe I'll give them another chance. Like, it, you know, you might, you might. But just be cautious with that type of energy, okay? Because sometimes, you know, if you, you've been in something a really long time, they say it usually takes about seven times to break up before it's finally finished, 
So I don't know what number some of you are on. Some of you are like, I am done with this fool. I've been on this recovery. I'm strong. I'm not worried about it. I know they're going to come back. I'm, I'm already prepared. You know, I always say Jesus, Jesus didn't always walk around, you know, with a kind smile. He also carried a sword. So, you know, that's my personal thing that I like to talk about. But I feel like, you know, Virgo, sometimes, you know, we're human and you're going to be have your weak moments. I just wish you all the best with that. I really do. I hope that if you are dealing with an addiction, I hope that, you know, recording stopped. I hope that you have the strength to pull through whatever this thing is, even if it's somebody else's addiction and they're coming in too soon and you might be like, yeah, you're not ready. You're not ready. Neither one of us is ready for this. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Okay. Let me get a charm here for you. Oh, all right, Virgo. Well, this is interesting. So I'm not really sure, but I have to say you have an elephant here. So the elephant is wise <laughs> and remembers. Don't forget, Virgo, keep things green. Remember where you came from before you make any decisions to, you know, uh, jump into the fire here remember where you came from and elephant is, is strong elephants are strong and they care for their children and they care for uh, what are elephant babies called i don't remember <laughs> um baby elephants i don't know <laughs> some type of an, a, con a connection to an elephant i feel like i should know the spiritual meaning um somebody might be from india maybe it's something to do with that or um oh and i was talking about a safari earlier yeah the safari is coming virgo stay strong bless do your best be positive don't give up don't quit love you virgo see you tomorrow bye